Hello, welcome to um, Math 449 Office Hour. And today I'll continue to solve uh, interview questions. Um, code C. And uh, right now we're at, uh, I forgot which level it is, but uh, let's go. Uh, we're still at intro, I think. Um, edge of the ocean, smooth sailing, we're here. Alright. Um, let me open up my uh, simple mass locator. Oh, this is interesting. So sort by height. Okay. Some people are standing in a row in the park. There are trees between them, which cannot be moved. Your task is to rearrange the people by their height in a non-descending order uh, without moving the trees. What does that mean? Example. Um, oh, I see. The trees is minus one. Okay, the tree is a minus one. Um, so for example, uh, the tree is represented by um, minus one, right here. And then um, we sort the people's height, I believe it's in centimeters. For example, it's 150, 190, 170. And if it's sorted, if it's sorted, it should be 150, 160, 170, 180, and 190. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Um, I'm not sure, but this is a list, and I hate list. I love NumPy. Um, but let, let's uh, let's copy this input right here. Let's back to uh, coding. Okay. Let's. Uh, Input. Oops, this is uh, office hour, um, October 6. Input NumPy as MP, and uh, let's open up our interactive idle. Um, a is this. Alright, A is the list. So after, after our function is applied to this A, um, this number has to be sorted. Okay, here's my idea. Um, we first say the following. Uh, let's start a function. Sorry. This is MATLAB way of defining a function. We, um, we def, what's the function name again? Um, sort of by head. Okay. Um, right here. Okay. Um, sort by height A. So here's the idea, um, a sorted, here's the idea, here's the idea, we first we retrieve, so step one is uh, we retrieve um, trees location, locations, which are minus one in trees. And step two is uh, we sort the rest, and then we uh, we like, uh, and then we insert trace location back. This is kind of inefficient, though. Um, we uh... oh, I think I can do this. So retrieve trace location, then uh, we sort. Um, the rest 
but we keep we keep the in the indices of the non trees and tree and we just use numpy slicing numpy slicing uh, for um, like uh, set the values for the final output okay here's a uh, here's idea here's just uh, our idea and uh, let's try it without the function so retrieve trees location is simple let's first do this I think my uh, Python interpreter is somehow bugged. Let me restart my uh, VS Code. Um, the auto completion is not working. I don't know why, but. Uh, I don't need terminal. I rather need an interactive window. Let's try if the um, auto completion is back. No? Why? Huh? Analyzing in background import numpy. Why there is on um, my Python? Notifications, Python extension. Okay, yeah, whatever. That's okay. Um, I guess I just have to live with uh, it today. What's that? Mm -hmm. All right, so we retrieve the index of um of this okay it's back good um we do index trees is um is what is uh is numpy where why come on where numpy who um parameters i do need i i think i do need numpy where let me let me try numpy where first okay index trees what's that right so now we get uh uh the uh index right here let me put the ui bigger Mm. Okay. And what happens is actually why this is a tuple. I think it returns a tuple. Let me check. Uh, um, let me check. Numpyware's document. It returns a tuple. Really? Um. Returns an array. Yeah, it returns an array. Right? It returns an array. Why is it returns a tuple? Is because. Okay, oh, it returns because. Okay, I should do this. Right? Now it's. Uh, but either both. Either both or either x, y should be given. 
Let's read the document again. Um, oh, I see. I think this is this this is optional. Mm. Otherwise, yield Y. Okay, array-like condition. Both X and ten plus Y in broadcast. All right, I think I just have to do this. And we find index trees just zero. So this is the in indices of uh, of minus one. For example, if we plug in, um, sorry, if we plug in the index trees zero, we'll get all minus one. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, I think minus one is like a, I'm not sure. Um, but we want it to be not equal to minus one, right? So uh, then index trees uh, will become that, okay, which is the indices. And then uh, we just uh, do, we just sort that. So for example, now A index, well, may, may, I should name this index height because it's where is not and the zero equals sorted um, a index height. I think that's it. Let's print a again. Yeah, it's sorted. This is not too bad. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to use elementary way to to do it, but. Uh, <laughs> this is this is kind of fast. Um, sh I, I should use NumPy sort. I'm not sure which one is faster, but maybe let me let me use NumPy sort. Okay, it's the same. So let me let me keep it NumPy. Um, all right, let me copy down where um, to the code signal. Okay, <laughs> we import the numpy as MP. Oh, come on. I just need MP. Alright. Okay. Index heights. And then we return A. I think that's it. Let's run test. Okay, test passed 6 out of 6. Let's try submit. This is not too bad. This is not too bad. Um, the key is, I think, is indexing, and then we'll learn like the top solution what it is like. Correct. Test passed. It's not too bad. Um, time, ten minutes. I would have solved it by five minutes, but uh, I need to explain somehow. Um, we made a new level. Let's uh, let's let's still let's still check the top solutions. Um, high three. Oh, of course you use uh, list comprehension. But this this is this may not be the fastest because there is a loop. Okay. Oh, you use insert. You use insert because you can use list. Okay, let's do this. So if A is a list, for example, you use DIR list of A, you, you can have a method called insert right here. So these are the these are the functions associated with, uh, with the list. You can sort, reverse, remove, these are the routine functions. Um, and these are, for example, the len, you, you see double underscore, is uh, how the len, this len function is going to play it on a list, all right. Um, for example, let me, let me just do this, list A, len, this is the same as, uh, uh, as this, right. Um, 
Okay, so you use insert. I think this is clever, but uh, um, so for example, I do believe it uses a list com comprehension. So it's something like this. So I for I in uh, list of A. If, if I is uh, greater than zero, yeah. we get uh, all the heights. But I don't, I don't like. I, what what I don't like this approach is it, it doesn't track indices. Okay. If it doesn't if it doesn't track indices. Uh, bad. Let me let me change the soundtrack. I think this is too dynamic. Let, let, let's uh, change. Oh, let's change a more slower one. Okay. Yeah, I think this is better. Um, all right, this this is sort by height. I think we solved the question, but uh, I I don't like this solution because it didn't track. Uh, it didn't track the indices. Um, from a data science point of view, I think this is uh, this is like old school coding. But uh, uh, if we are doing some machine learning applications, we do want to track the indices when we. Um, do some operations for a array. Okay, right now, what happens here? Write a function that reverses characters in possibly nested parentheses in infostring. Okay. Infostring will always be well informed with matching parentheses. For example, input string is that um, it will be rab. Of course, if input string is that, they are oh, the output is without input string. So what you want to do is what does that mean? Uh, oh, you only you only reverse what's in the what's in the parentheses. Okay. Okay, I already see where this is going. Why it's difficult is because we may have like multiple parentheses. And you have nested parentheses. Wow, this question we may not be able to solve it within this office hour, I guess. I'm not a good string manipulator. And you have nested string. Okay, let let's see. Um, so you, you, you reverse this. Wow, you, okay, here you have to use recursive. I think here we have to use recursive algorithm. It's fast. So first become that, and then we reverse this. Okay. First we need to find the innermost parentheses. First, we need to find the innermost parentheses, and then we revert it. Yes. Let's start with the simple one. This is our industry, and we need to uh, revert what's happening uh, there. I mean, a string, a string is pretty much like a vector. Um, example, right here, you can you can you can use index notation right here. In the string. Example, it's a uh, first position is a f, and. Uh, uh, For example, it's um, a fourth position, which is index three, is a uh, left parentheses. Okay. Um. Okay. I want to use NumPy again. Um. And let's 
let me use NumPy first, and let let let's use uh, um, let's learn how do these coders solve this problem in plain list and string manipulation. If we do NumPy array, it will convert this to um, um, array with data type. I believe it's object. Oh, it's uh okay, okay. So it's a uh, you. It's, I do believe this is a uh, this is unsigned uh, string, and this is on uh, this is. So I wanna. Okay, so I wanna do maybe this. Okay, now I do. Now I do uh, this. Let's do input array. So uh, a r r s t r equals uh, numpy array. But we use the list comprehension. It's s for s in input string. All right, and let's if we print this array string, it should be now. Um, yep, there we go. Um, let me check what's the D type. Array string. Is there a D types? No. Um, okay, it's D type is U1, you have one characters, all right. Um, what we do is we first, we, uh, we retrieve the indices of, uh, of the parentheses first. I mean, this this works for apparently non-nested, but uh, let's retrieve the index for the uh, parentheses. For example, index uh, parentheses. Yeah, this variable uh, is too long. Let's just do this. PRT parentheses. Okay, let's index left. Let's do index left is uh, is numpy where um, array str equals left parentheses um, zero. Try index left. It's three. That's right. So this is the this is the uh, fourth position, which is index three. And similarly, let's do. Um, oops, my bad. Um, all right. Let's copy it. Let's paste. Try with this. Okay, index right. Uh huh. If we do this, we'll get the indices, and we just uh, we just array str in in between these two positions, which is uh, idx left. I mean, if this is uh, let me let me check this first. Idx left. Zero, okay, yeah. Let's do this first. Zero, two. Um, to what? To reverse. Is there a numpy reverse function? I do believe so. Reverse, no. Uh, invert. Um. What does invert do? I don't even know. Array minus two, three. Okay, let's uh, ignore that first. Um, we 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 can still use list comprehension, so don't worry about that. Um, it's uh, index right uh, to index plus right. Uh huh. 
I do believe this is plus one to index plus right, index right zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. It gives gives us a B, A, and R, and uh, let's say STR middle, uh, A, R, R middle. Equal that. And, uh, um, and we just revert these three places. Um, it's numpy array. And we do this comprehension. It's, uh, it's S for for S in, we wanna, we wanna, uh, we wanna iterate it backwardly. Uh, if, I don't wanna use a range, right? P-I-R-M-P I forgot Split, resize, reshape Place, negative M short I, I do believe short It's maybe uh, Order, there we go Order Yeah, we can use order Oh, we don't want to use sort Because it's not Sort. We just need to reverse the direction. Uh, I forgot. Let's do list comprehension Python uh, reverse. Why I'm so stupid. We just we just use uh, we just use index notation, of course. Oh my god, I I've, I've used this like uh, teaching classes, but uh, I forgot how to do it. We just do this. This is how we revert a string, like most elegant solution, because this is like a, a this is a start index we ignore it. This is end index we ignore it. And this is a step. We just do minus one. Post. I think that that will do. Let's try string str. Uh, and we want to get rid of uh, the parentheses, right? And then we just do one last. Uh, list comprehension equals s in s for s in a r r s t r if s is not or i mean python is so readable this is literally it does so s for s in array string if s is not <laughs> let's see if it gives us the string Um, I think I, I should just do uh, um, alpha string. Alpha string. Let's try alpha string. Why? Why you still have that? Hmm. It does nothing. Let's first check this. A-R-R-S-T-R. Does it revert? It didn't. A-R mid. Yeah. Why it doesn't? Oh, yeah, it does. R-A-B. B-A-R. I don't understand. So if I do, if I do this assign, this is IAB, and we uh, we replace this array, these positions by this ARSTR. 
It's VAR, right? Okay, why it's not... Uh... Why it's not showing? It's VAR. Uh, let's print this first. Print... Yeah, string. And let's print... Yeah, string again. Okay, it's reversed. Yeah. Uh, and then we out. How about our string? It's still IV. Why? If S. use and my bad uh, he is not and what why huh that's very weird. It's not that. Let's first try this. So this list comprehension is S. As we print S in this array string, if S is not, this is not this, we print it. Let's do this stupid way for um, index in range length of out string. Okay. Um, print uh, if out string i equals. Uh, we print print found at i oops yeah um is bad so I should use equal equal yeah I should use on equal <laughs> so is 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 not is for string doesn't work it's true why 
boss. But an out string. Okay, okay. Anyway. Um, so let's run this again. Um, and that's unequal. Somehow in the NumPy, this array. Okay, now it's good. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know what happened. Um, all right, let's try. Let's try what? Um, so now if we have nested, now this is good for non-nested. If we have nested, let's try a nested. If we have nested, um, oh, let's try this first. When we have two parentheses, okay, non-nested. By nested, we mean uh, one parentheses inside another. It is non-nested. Okay, let, let's try this first. If this is true. Okay, if this is true, we can see that it reverse only the first. That's interesting. But I do believe if we do this, we'll see two entries. 3.11. Okay. Yep. And, uh, okay, okay, okay. Then we, what we have to do if we have see two entries, all we have to do is for for number, for number parentheses, for n in range, len of index left, we assume like every, there, for every uh, left parenthesis, there are the right parentheses that it's uh, stated by the problem. Um, what we want to do is we iterate. Um, Array mid. Mm. And every time we print that, uh, we change this zero to n. Oops. Um, change that zero to n as well. And we just revert. <clears throat> right now, it, it, it should solve like a. Uh, the non-nested as we can see here it only revert it only reverse the first one it doesn't reverse the second one. so uh, let's do that okay right now this is good um but this i do believe i do believe uh if this implementation will encounter a bug if um um so list for string we have a string right um an out string uh let's do str out string oh my bad i should use uh i should you i should use an empty string okay uh join um, I for S, I should, I should use that, S for S in out str, yep, so um, I should do this, because we want to output a string, right? Since we have string, so join S or 
S. Okay. Yep. Right now we're good. Um. But th this will becomes problematic if uh, uh, we see. Let's print. Uh, um. This will becomes problematic when we see nested. Bring. Let's try. Let's try this one. Fuba bars bling. Becomes harder and harder. And if we plug in, let's see what happens. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. <laughs> what? What? What's the? Uh, what's the? Uh, output should we? Should be this. Let's try the difference. What? It does? <laughs> I I don't believe so. Oh no, we don't. We reverse. Okay, okay, okay. We re Okay, we first we have to reverse this. I think the problematic is the uh, index left to right. The index left. So for example, the index left here is 37, while the index right here is 11 and 12. All right. Because we're saying nested is because the biggest. Uh, index of the left parentheses is less than the biggest, the smallest index of the right parentheses when they have the nested, like this one. If we do this case, we should first, we should first, we, uh, we should first. I do believe this this can be done in a very nice recursive programming way, but I'm always like an iterative guy. I don't like recursive programming. Um, we can we can reverse this first, right? And then we re uh, re remove the bracket and uh, um. Let's 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 remove this first. Let's still do um, still make it a list first, and then let's join S for S in out str. Yeah. Print out str. Okay. Let's print our solution first. Let's try uh, this um, input numpy and um, uh -huh. This is nothing but return. Yeah, this will fail the um, this will fail the um, the nested ring test. Yeah. Mm. 
I do believe this can be solved in a very nice recursive way. Given the time constraint, I can't think of uh, an elegant method for NumPy right now, but uh, we should try, let's see. Index left, how do we how do we do this? If we add an if, it's fine. So let's see how many nested it has. Uh, string consists, it guarantee regular bracket sequence, 50. At most, how many, how many like uh, at most? It doesn't say, okay. Uh, we can we can first sort oh i see i see okay 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 all right so we should do this uh, we start from the innermost one okay we check okay so we check uh if um all right if uh index left the last entry is uh, smaller than index right uh, first entry okay what we should do is uh, what we should do is uh, we, we, we do this recursively okay so what we should do is uh, um, What we should do is we uh, we do a remit as uh, the index left uh, two plus one to index right zero, and we do this again. I think it's while. I think we should use while. I think we should use while. Yeah, while while it is this, we revert it. Yep. And we update the array AR string and we update the AR string yeah and we do this okay we do this and we retrieve we retrieve this again okay and let, let's try if it's good Let's end it for today, but I do believe I can I can use re either recursive or while to solve this problem. Let's continue uh, on Thursday.